Oh god. Kill a monster with an opportunity. They got a weak spot? Don't do it, man. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, that was a Molotov. Hello, everyone. This is Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is the channel where I play everything. Today, we are playing Alone in the Dark. This game just, li like, literally came out. And I got it. I got it on the Xbox Series X, and we're gonna get into it. Alright? Let's check it out. There's a frog. Ribbit. Oh, is that an alligator? Ooh, frog gone. Thought it was gonna take out the alligator too. Must be in the south. Alone in the dark. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult, and now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. And here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Oh, I get to choose a character. Edward Carnby. Or... Emily Hartwood. Okay. I'm going to go with the man with a gun. looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. I think I made the wrong choice. 
I should have chose the girl. Wouldn't have to go into the darkness. We're in the garage. Okay, we're playing now. What do we got here on the left? Looks like we got the gun. What's up top? Won't let me do it. Look like a, a flask or something. Yeah, maybe that's to heal. I got six bullets. Look for a way inside the house. My oh, trucker, we're in the garage. Okay. On the guy themselves an engine. Let's see. Anything to find to collect? They got a garage with horse stables. Those are for the people that don't have cars back then. They got the horse. That was the first autonomous vehicle right there. You just fed it's it. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. I'll get a flashlight. What was that? I need the key. Okay, we gotta find a key. Nothing over here. Probably on the table. What about the light over here? Ooh. Never mind, there's something right here. Who leaves a key in the horse stable? Oh, and did we get a flashlight? No, what do we got here? We sure do. Flashlight. We found a clue. And a kitchen garden key. Key item. Alright. We can view it. Well, we can see what that's for. And we can turn on the flashlight. That one's pretty good. I definitely judge a game based on how good it's flashlighted. Okay? The defining feature on graphical enhancements. Let's open this door up. Kitchen garden. I see eyes over here. What is that? There's something in the dark. Oh, this is a nice garden. Look at this. Little watering can. Oh, there's those birds again. I saw you in Resident Evil 4. They drop money if you shoot them. Oh, we got a lock over here. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Chain door. There was a number on the lock, though. I don't know if that matters. Little details. Oh, that must be the, the greenhouse. Those things are cool. Got ourselves a cool statue. Oh, something's over here. Oh, there's a hole. Um, am I supposed to bring that up? Hmm. Looks like a piece of something. Almost like a piece of pottery or something like that. There's a ladder right there. We could use that. We're gonna need a grappling hook. A rope and a hook. Let's see what this door is. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. Look at that tree. Got a cool fountain too. That's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. This is an awesome greenhouse. Or I guess a conservatory as he says. Look at the knot. Huh? What? I hear a noise. This thing alive? Sounds like it's coming from the tree. Oh, there's something right here. Housekeeper's key. Okay. Looks like there might be a door down there. Yep. And then let's go up here. See if there's anything to pick up. It's gonna be one of these kinds of games. Can't go through that door. Got a cool little fountain. 
perfect for getting the water out so you can water the plants. We got a box. Ooh, ammo. Pistol ammo. Alright, we got a six shooter. Somebody's stacking books on the other side of that door. So, anything over here? I think that's another door. That goes outside. Yep. Or no, that's the same door I used. Okay. Already lost my way in this place, so big. Alright, let's go on this one. Housekeeper's key. Umbrella. Welcome to Dirketto. Break in. Okay. Achievement unlocked. I can hear stuff. Door shutting. It's like Resident Evil 4. I do. We got another drink. Alright, alcohol is what's going to bring his health back up. Seems about right. Alcohol. Oh, how they used to wash clothes back in the day. So that was uh, the board they put the water on and washed the clothes. And this is so they can wring it out. Maybe they use the water from the clothes to use it for other stuff. Like the plants. Dang rats. Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Interesting. I'm super happy I don't gotta read all that. It reads itself. Why can't all games do that? That's pretty cool. She got into some of that voodoo. Oh, more ammo. Yeah, this is like playing Resident Evil 4 right now. That's what we're doing. Open door. Didn't need a key for this one. Ooh, look at that kitchen. All the fine china. Only pull those out when the guests come up. Is that a fire extinguisher? Oh, it's one of those uh, water sprayers. Oh, I'm hearing noises. What's in here? Ooh, yeah. We got some more of that liquid courage. 
got a cutting board that clearly needs a little cleaning. Oh, look at that. Got some meat. Bunch of bread. More ammo. Looks like there's a key here. A few locks. What's in the old freezer? I guess they just don't want you to open it up completely. Crack it open. And we got more pistol ammo. I'm gonna search through this whole place and get all the ammo I can. Alright, before I go that way, let's go over here. I think this might be like the pantry or something. I was right. Look at the size of this. Provisions everywhere. Oh, they got some nice sausages. What's this? Rat poison? What does that say? Lagnip? Lagnip? Lagnap? I don't even know how to say that. Poison. Squill no more. Rat and vermin killer. Open. Sets complete. A goat without horns. Oh, it's a collectible. Nice. Okay. What was that? Lagnate. Are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Then, Lignet, or Lagnipes, I'm just going to call them that. Carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of Barnaby's and Emily's campaign. Oh, we got two campaigns to go through. What's this? Nope. Alright, we're, we're taking our time through this then. We're going to search everything. Oh yeah. Got more liquid courage. Got all that. Oh, those are pickles. Okay. Let's get out of the pantry. He was asking what that noise was. Oh, cool. They got a nice picture. Oh, yep. That's of the Jesus. I guess they opened that up. What are they making in here? Yummy. Cockroaches. Alright, let's check this way first. This is where they store the undesirables. Anybody home? Rat. There's a rat in every dang game I play. Street car ticket. Oh, it's another one. For the Crescent City. I like me some collectibles. Ammo? Yeah. And... What's in there? Nothing. Lock the gate. I need the key. Okay. Let's head back up. I need a key for every door in this place. What about this door? She opened up. Oh my god, it's my number one fan! What do we got here? Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Mr. Waits? He's gonna continue waiting. Why is it uh, highlighted a leak in decorative plate? Let's remember that. A leak in decorative plate. Those were highlighted in white. That doesn't look safe. Oh, this looks fine, man. Hmm. Ooh, we got a puzzle. I think we need an extra piece to do it. And... Oh my god. I got burnt. So we're not going that way. I need uh, to get something for the valve. Maybe a wheel or something. Okay, let's go this way. We gotta find some pieces. Another door. Game's got a little bit of a frame rate drop. Go see if we find the lady. This is a big place. Is this the front door? Nope. How do you even find your way around this place? 
like a maze. Oh, the bathroom. Uh, I think you had a leak around here. I got the clawfoot tub. Nothing in there. What are you reading? Marvelous science. A weekly review in progress. Or oh, progress in industry, science, invention, and mechanics. Ooh, oh, there's a purse. Let's rob it. What is that? Oh my god, it's the cockroach. Okay, so we got the library over there. Another door. Anybody home? Ooh, a map. Durketto floor plans. All right. So we're in the orderlies room. Yes, yeah, so the library's over there. Stair hall, I think, is where we need to go. I think that's where she is. Change floor. So garage is on the bottom. Yeah, she's got to be down there. By the stair hall. Hey. Oh, comes with the key. Hey. Is that what this is for? Nope. Locked medicine box. Got more of the drink. What's this? Somebody be doing some, uh... Oh, knitting. Sewing some stuff up. You got a book? Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said, like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Fetid rot talking to him. And apparently the key for that box is in the grand parlor. Okay, we're at the map. We gotta go to, that's a small parlor. The grand parlor. That's a big room. So apparently we gotta find it over there. Hold the menu button to open the map. The map is updated with information about the world, including locked doors and unsolved puzzles. Okay, so we can just hold it. We already checked over there. We haven't gone upstairs yet. We got a key. Oh, we can use it for this one. Open sesame. Oh, look at that. Whoa. We got some blood here. What's going on here? Somebody went right through that. Alright, we're outside, but we're on the balcony now. Oh, look at that. Oh. And the... Wait, what room is this? Stair hall. Okay, we're getting close to getting the lady. Already forgot her name. Isn't it Emily or something? I don't think it's this door. Nope, that's reception. It's this door. What's that? Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind. We let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood bloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? 
Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. You turned her around real quick. All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Search Jeremy's room for clues. Okay. Oh, we got another puzzle. Locked box. Oh, we can just push that close. That's cool. Is this clay? That's pretty cool. Somebody knows how to use their clay around here. We got a book. The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall weep. We got a lot of pages here. Battered boiler, old stairs, old upstairs clock. Let my talisman take me there. Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess. Orderlies, the housekeeper and the patients. Dr. Gray, the clerks, Mr. Waits. Maybe your, uh, Beauregard? Contract. Okay. Well, I'll let you guys read all that stuff. Let's keep this moving. Oh, we got a tile. Okay, so we can go work on that thing over here. What's this? I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. A clue? What's in here? Nope. We need a key for that, which probably comes out of that other container. Let's see if we can do the puzzle. Painted tile piece. But imagine this one goes in the center. This one goes on the bottom and top. Nailed it. Any key? What's hey, this? You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. 
No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of the stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. save this one. There's that talisman. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Got some tinnitus. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. What's that all about? Miss Hartwood. Emily? Things are starting to get real. We in New Orleans. Investigate the corner store. Did we just get transported from looking at that painting? Is there anything else different in here? Still got that trunk with the key that we need. What else is going on around here? Before we go down, let's go check over here. I don't see nothing. All the cockroaches. We're definitely in the southern states, I think. Open. <laughs> what the heck is that? Uh, ammo. Okay, it looks like we have to go this way. Can we crouch? Turn the light off. Oh, you gotta press Y to crouch. God, I hate that. Oh! What the heck's going on? Kill it! Trying to save ammo. It's a bane of my existence. Kill a monster with a ranged weapon. There's another one, I think. Was that the same one? I couldn't tell where the other one went. Too busy missing my shots. It took like five bullets to kill one of them. This remind me of uh, Saint Denis from Red Dead. Saint Denise or Denine, I don't know. Alright, looks like we're going down this alleyway. That looks like uh, some Silent Hill stuff over there. Make sure we don't miss anything like that. Definitely gonna need ammo. What the hell is going on? You got transported, man. That's what's going on. Items can be thrown at enemies used as distractions. Tap right uh, trigger quickly to throw an item and hold it to aim. <laughs> uh, whoops. So you can't carry it. You just gotta throw it from where you're standing. I know how to sprint, man. That's the corner store. Before we go there, let's look around. 
Ooh, check the trash. I'm full on drinks, okay. There we go. That should even me out. That's the store we gotta go to. Before we do that, let's go over here. Pick the trash. Got nothing. Another item to distract enemies. Another one. And another one. There's a ton of them out here. I'd imagine that the enemies are going to start coming out at some point. We're going to have to distract them all. We don't want to waste all that ammo. Okay. Let's get to the corner store. I rung the bell. What's in the track? Absolutely nothing. Ooh, we got a lead pipe. Nice. Oh god. How do we use the lead pipe? Right bumper. Right bumper. Heavy attack. Oh my god. Come at me. Kill a monster with a melee weapon. Nice. Okay, so we don't just have bullets. Good. Now I can club him. Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine. It's a cool sign. Alright, let's get inside. your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> she showed getting her money's worth to that. You were thinking, man, gone bear. Nah, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, gone bear. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. That's a big guy. Oh, we got lizards. Batiste's key. Okay. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. And there are two belonging to Dorsetto. One of the clerk's office and one at the library. We got a bunch of keys. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Ooh, preserved reptile. A goat without horns. What else you got in this store? Got some masks. This game is completely different from the Alone in the Dark that I played back in the day. I played it on the Xbox 360. It's like a whole different story, but it might might connect somehow, but I'm not seeing it. Let's talk to this guy again. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Okay. Enjoy the view. I'm just going to be a nice guy and I'll close that for you. You have a good one. Alright, let's head across the way. We needed a key, which we got now. Oh, the ghouls are there like I thought. So we got to go down this way. Okay, we can crouch and go slow. Look at that thing. 
That one's way different. It's like two creatures on one. Okay, let's see if we can grab this thing to distract it. Aim it. And throw. Alright, keep moving. Oh god, I'm stuck. Keep it moving. Did you hear me? You heard me. Okay, we're just gonna keep moving. This must be the gate. Use it. Eat it. Whoa. Truck butter. I can't shut the door, can I? Keep it moving. Got ammo. Oh, he's coming. Oh, the delay in sound. Oh god, he's coming. Reload. Oh god, he spit at me. Oh god. Kill a monster with an opportunity. They got a weak spot? Don't do it, man. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, that was a Molotov. I hear even more of them inside. Okay, we got another alcohol bottle we can throw. Let's look around real quick. They're doing some voodoo stuff here. Sacrificial dagger. I never trust voodoo. Alright, let's go up the stairs. Oh, he's coming. Easy now. Oh, he's coming. Is there any way I can, like, assassinate him or something? I don't got a lot of ammo. Oh, and I think the lead pipe does break. Alright, come down here with me. Any more things to throw? I want to throw that at... Oh, there he is. Okay. Boom! Burn, Mo Trucker, burn! He's running! Cut black! Anything else to throw? One bullet! Smack! Oh, he broke it! I killed him with it, though. The fighting in this game is clunky. Whoa. Oh god, is it? Okay. Lap him. Oh, I'm the worst shot of the world, man. Reload. Okay, I got him. Ammo. I should have used that rock on him. Anybody in here? Hopefully, no more of those I goblins. This place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Like that? It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. No, you got the talisman. In between, there are doors. Find your own talisman. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Use the talisman to get back to... Ercito or Durketto. We don't want to do that yet. We want to look for some stuff. Oh, it must go there. Okay, we don't want to do that yet. Look around first. 
Anything else in here that is cool? A key. Come on, let me do it. Part of key don't you understand? What about here? Or here? Nope. Okay, I guess I gotta use it. I think it's meant for the talisman. Uh, we got numbers. How's this work? It needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. It definitely was. Let's open up the inventory. Okay, talisman schematic. Talisman with black sunstone. An ancient navigational tool found inside a chenier along the Bayou Tonk. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil that massacred its finders. Three numbers are needed to span a bridge between escapes of dream and memory, according to Stein. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. Okay, three, five, eight it is. So the first number is three. Five, eight. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. Oh, now the door opens. Detective. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dosetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here, try this. Oh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. 
come to think of it, he, he might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. All right, everyone, that was the end of chapter one. And now we're going to be on chapter two in the next episode. It's just like Resident Evil 4. It's just reminding me of all that. But Resident Evil 4 handles a lot better. This is kind of uh, glitchy, but so far it's interesting. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, leave some comments down below and tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Later.